with the 10th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Josh Rosen, quarterback, UCLA. And we've got history. First time in the common draft era, four quarterbacks go in the top 10. He was called chosen. There are nine mistakes made ahead of me, and I, um, I will make sure over over the next decade or so that they they will uh, they will know that they made a mistake. Josh, Steve Kime with the Cardinals, how you doing? Ready to come out to the desert? <laughs> Congrats, my man. We just traded up with the Raiders. So it's right here for the Cardinals. Can they survive? Here's Rosen's pass, and it's going to be intercepted by Bryce Callahan. This one is batted into the air and picked off. John Davis leaps to the touchdown. Hall of Famers. Now that's two oh, Hall of Famers in the same shot. One is in. Foreshadowing where that was. Indeed. And it's picked off. Intercepted by Darius Slay. No one will catch him. Touchdown, Lions. Let's begin with number one. We've just forecasted it here. We do believe, I do believe, that Kyler Murray goes number one overall to the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, I think an extremely talented thrower of the football. Um, when you watch him cut it loose, he can throw it with anybody. A uh, very cerebral young man and competitive, ultra competitive. I think this year, you know, it was rough at times. Uh, towards the end, took a bunch of hit. With the first pick in the 2019 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Kyler Murray, quarterback. Sources say the Miami Dolphins have now traded for former first-round quarterback Josh Rosen from the Arizona Cardinals. This is now confirmed, it is done. Arizona is now on the clock. And this trade, which we've been talking about all day, is finally done. Kyler Murray. Um, because I think I uh, am a good quarterback, and I think I am a good leader. I don't think my chip's got to grow anymore. I might tip over. <laughs> What's going on guys? Sports Gaming Nation 101 here and we are bringing you a Madden 19 video. I haven't made a video in about three years, but hey, it's okay because we're back here and what we're going to be doing today is simulating the career of Josh Rosen. So we all know the story of Josh Rosen. Cardinals traded up to the 10th overall pick to get him last year in the draft and then just one year later they trade him away to the Dolphins. They get Kylo Murray of the first overall pick. You saw the video before. Do so you know the story? But we're going to see if Josh Rosen is going to redeem himself, going to prove the Arizona Cardinals wrong, and maybe win Miami some Super Bowls. It's been a long time since the Dolphins have won a Super Bowl. And maybe if Josh Rosen can live up to the gigantic footsteps that Dan Marino left for the Dolphins. So what we're going to do here is every single year we're going to simulate to the end of the year. Right before the playoffs, we're going to check out Josh Rosen's stats. That's the only stats we're going to check out. I'm not going to look who won MVP or anything. We're going to see if we made the Pro Bowl. We're going to see what our record is. And um, if we make the playoffs, then we'll simulate the game one by one and see how we do. So let's get right into it. All right, so we are at the end of the second year for Josh Rosen, his first year as a Miami Dolphin. Let's go over here and check out the record. 5-10-1. and one. Not a very good record for the Dolphins. They had a tie. Josh Rosen's stats on the year, 3,600 passing yards, 22 touchdowns with only 8 interceptions. That interceptions ratio definitely went down a lot from when he was with the Cardinals. Has a little bit more weapons, a little bit of a better offensive line, and a, probably a better coaching staff in Miami than what he had last year for Arizona. And let's be honest, Arizona was a train wreck last year. Nobody would have succeeded behind there. 60% completion percentage and an 87.6 passer rating. So nothing too special here for Josh Rosen here. Even Blake Bortles got nine yards. He went one for four. So I do want to point out real quick that I did leave the instant starter on just because Rosen right now was like a 73 overall. And I don't really want to be sitting on the bench for 15 years. That wouldn't be fun to watch. 
but we can upgrade Josh Rosen a little bit. He's got five skill points, so let's go ahead and throw some of these on here. Just uh, let's do a couple to the field general here. Um, do West Coast, and maybe a couple more for strong arm. It's not really much of a scrambler, so we're not going to worry about that one right now. All right, the start of the third year for Josh Rosen's career here. He's up to a, oh, we can't see the roster here, but he's up to a 77 overall, or actually a 79. Wow, went up a little bit more um, after I did all the attribute upgrades and stuff. I'm not going to show that every single year because it's just going to be the same thing. I'll just kind of show you guys um, what overall he's at. So he went from a 73 to a 79 in one year, which is pretty good. So let's see how he does in his second year as Miami Dolphin. All right, let's see here, Josh Rosen. <laughs> Even worse of a record. He went. They went four and twelve. Four and twelve. Probably gonna have a top overall pick. Probably gonna be looking for the replacement of Josh Rosen. He's not playing very well. Looking at the stats though, um, pretty similar to last year. Three or thirty-six hundred passing yards. Six, only sixteen touchdowns and nine interceptions and a 63% completion percentage with an 88.8 passer rating. And looks like they're already drafted a couple of guys here that might be, they want to take over for Josh Rosen, but they can't, guess what? Because we got instant starter on. I want to point out something really weird um, real quick. It doesn't have anything to do with this, but the first year that I had the simulate, I had the simulate 2018 season, you know, so. Um, but Sam Darnold won MVP and the Jets went 12 and four to win the Super Bowl, which is crazy. Sam Donald won MVP, and second on the MVP list was Le'Veon Bell. This crazy stuff. Again, we're not going to be looking at other people's stats. We're not concerned about that. We want to make this video as fast as possible for the most part and, um, you know, see if Josh Rosen turns out to be good, a good quarterback in this league. Josh Rosen up to an 80 overall at the start of his fourth year. You know, it takes time. It takes time to be a great quarterback in this league. And still a lot of time left for Josh Rosen. All right here. So we, um, the Dolphins actually did not re-sign us. So we have some contract offers. We can go play for a new team. If the Dolphins are on here, I'm just going to stick with them. But it doesn't look like they are. So Josh Rosen is going to be heading to a new team here. So um, let's see. Who gives us the most money? $49 million from the Raiders. Um... 49 from the Eagles, both the same four-year deal. Um, 49 from from the Titans, 49 from the Rams, 49 from the Bills. Um, man, I, I'm thinking about playing for LA. Might be a little biased here, but also at the same time they got Jared Goff, so that wouldn't really. It's not going to be realistic because I want to come in as an 80 overall quarterback and take over the job for Jared Goff. So let's not do that. Um, I mean, you know, maybe the Raiders. I think I'm feeling the Raiders here. Let's let's go to Oakland at this point. They're they'll be in Vegas here and um, play with John Gruden and uh, see how we do. So here we go, Josh Rosen, an 80 overall still, and he's going to be playing his first season as an Oakland Raider. He's going to be playing for John Gruden. It's going to be very interesting to see. Maybe Josh Rosen can have a breakout couple of years here in Oakland. He signed a four-year deal. Unfortunately, Miami didn't want to resign us, so it's hoping to stay with the Dolphins for the rest of Josh Rosen's career, but it's not going to happen. 2022, Josh Rosen has played for his third team in six years. It's the Oakland Raiders. We'll see how he does. And look at this. The Oakland Raiders have made the playoffs as a wild card with a 9 6 and 1 record. So Josh Rosen is actually going to be playing against his former team, the Miami Dolphins. The Dolphins finally got rid of Josh Rosen and they made the playoffs. So I don't know what that tells you, but if he can get a win against his former team, that would just be amazing. Real quick, let's go ahead and look at the stats for Josh Rosen. Nothing too great that stands out for Josh Rosen here. The Raiders did win their division with nine wins. Nine, nine, six, and one. They won their division. 3,500 passing yards, 25 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, and 90.6 pass rating. Still a 59 completion percentage here, but we're going to go with the playoffs. We're going to simulate the playoffs one by one and see if uh, Josh Rosen can win his first playoff game. 
So no, Josh Rosen did not win the playoffs, and you can see at the top, the Dolphins have made the Super Bowl! I know I didn't want to look and see the other stats from other teams, but the Dolphins have made the Super Bowl. They're going to be playing the Cowboys. That is crazy. Josh Rosen was literally on a Super Bowl team, and I just simulated right passes here, so hold on a minute. Cowboys ended up winning the Super Bowl, but that is crazy. The Dolphins, a year after they get rid of Josh Rosen, they don't re-sign him. They go on to the Super Bowl. As a 9-7 and seven record, that is crazy. They must have an insane playoff run. Obviously, we lost in the wild card round to the Dolphins, so let's keep going. At this point, I lost track um, where how long Josh Rosen's been playing. I think this, it says five year, but I think it's a seventh year. Not sure, but he's up now to an 82 overall, his second year as a Raider. Let's see if the Raiders can go back to the playoffs and maybe actually get a playoff win. And the Raiders have made it back to the playoffs with an 8-7-1 record. What in the world? That is so crazy. Josh Rosen, his second 4,000-yard season here, 4,055. With 20 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, still 59%. Pretty much everything the same every single year for Josh Rosen here. But um, still playing okay football. I mean, he's a, he's a decent quarterback. Right now, I'm kind of thinking of him as like a Andy Dalton, you know, kind of guy who's just uh, doesn't really do anything. Look at Josh Jacobs, though. 1,600 rushing yards. Jesus. So let's go ahead and see if Josh Rosen can win his first playoff game. He did! Josh Rosen and the Raiders just defeated the Chargers. And Josh Rosen has won his first playoff game in, I believe, his seventh season. Just take a look at the passing stats real fast for uh, Josh Rosen and his first playoff win. Only 158 passing yards with one touchdown. Let's see if the Raiders can make an very unlikely run to the Super Bowl. You never know if they can beat the Jets. No. No upgrades for Josh Rosen after this year. So an 82 overall here. He's in his third year with the Raiders. What is he doing? He's taking some selfies. Come on, Josh. You got a game to play, man. You got a preseason game, 9 o'clock against the Packers at Lambeau. Stop taking selfies in the locker room. You got football to play. So for the first time since Josh Rosen has been the quarterback for the Raiders, they don't make the playoffs unless they got a first run by. You never know. Let's take a look. Definitely not. They finished 5 and 11. So not a good year for the Raiders and Josh Rosen. Pretty much the same stats uh, for Josh Rosen after this year. Probably, I think it's the highest his passer rating's been, but um, at least he's consistent. I mean, he's had 3,500, 4,000 passing yards, and 26 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions. That's probably one of the better touchdown-interception ratios that he's had. 60% um, completion percentage. So just uh, solid numbers for Josh Rosen. He can't really say anything else. Not, not Definitely not a game-changer, not a franchise guy yet. He's still got some time left, but... Josh Rosen up now to an 83 overall here. He's 28 years old. This is his 8th season or his ninth season. I don't remember. It says 7, but, God, I don't know. Um, This is a make it break a year for Josh Rosen. He's He's got to get something good or else the Raiders are not going to resign him. This is last year of his contract. Um, he's made the playoffs two out of the three years, but, you know, they, they need a good season from Josh Rosen, like a Pro Bowl season. Josh Rosen has still yet to make a Pro Bowl so far in his career. And Josh Rosen makes the playoffs once again. Third time as an Oakland Raider in four years. And gets it as 9-7 and seven, though. The thing is, yeah, he's made the playoffs, but he has won more than nine games. <laughs> he's just been getting kind of lucky. Raiders again win their division. Same numbers again for Josh Rosen. A little bit higher. 3,800. And uh, 26 touchdowns. Just six interceptions. I think that's the lowest. And this is definitely the highest passer rating he's had. So it's going to be interesting to see if the Raiders are going to resign Josh Rosen after this season or not. Let's see if Josh Rosen can win his second playoff game. And he does. Josh Rosen with an amazing game in his second playoff win. 384 yards with four touchdowns. Great game for Josh Rosen. Definitely leading the Raiders to that playoff win. Now they're going to be facing the 11-5 Bengals in the divisional playoffs. And another win. So Josh Rosen has led them to the conference championship for the first time ever. Josh Rosen is going to be playing for the AFC title. Josh Rosen, nothing too special here. 148, two touchdowns, one interception. So here we go. The Raiders are one win away from going to the Super Bowl. Let's see if they can 
get this very unlikely win over the 13-3 New York Jets. No. So you can see the top is the Cowboys once again and the Jets in the Super Bowl. Still a pretty good run for the 9-7 Raiders to get to be playing for the AFC Championship. Nothing to be ashamed of for the Raiders in that season. So we got some contract offers here. The Raiders look like are willing to re-sign us. Yes, they are. $59.8 Um, So, I don't know. Do we go back to Oakland? I mean, three playoff wins. Going to the playoff three out of the four years. I think we should stick with Oakland. And uh, I think we're building something good. I think we're, go we're going to go ahead and sign this four-year deal with the Raiders again. So, the fifth year for Josh Rosen as an Oakland Raider. Still an 83 overall. 29 years old. So the end of 2026, not a playoff berth for the Raiders here. Let's see what their record is. Ele oh, never mind. Never mind. Must have been a first round bye for the Raiders. 11 and 5. They win their division. A great year for the Raiders. And easily the best year for Josh Rosen. Look at this. 4,200 passing yards with 33 touchdowns. Great season for Josh Rosen. 11 interceptions. 62% uh, completion percentage, definitely, easily, the best, the best stat sheet of the year for Josh Rosen. And the number one offense in the league, that is crazy, so Josh Rosen resigns. Josh Jacobs second, looks like he is a stud, so the Raiders are going to be playing their first home game, I'm pretty sure, their first home playoff game here at Raiders Stadium, Josh Rosen, and they lose, they're a one and done. <laughs> I forgot who they're playing. They're playing the Browns, a one and done, 11 5 season, right out the door. And, but Josh Rosen has made his first Pro Bowl. Finally. Josh Rosen, 30 years old, he finally made a Pro Bowl. Good for him. Along with Carson Wentz and Sam Darnold, who's a 98 overall. Patrick Mahomes is a 97. Crazy stuff. Josh Jacobs is a 97. I wonder why this offense is so, so dominant. Josh Rosen now up to an 84 overall here. He's been in the league for almost a decade. So the Raiders once again making the playoffs. This is the fifth time out of six years that Josh Rosen has been the quarterback for a play for a Raiders team that made the playoffs here. And it's got to be sooner or later before these guys win a championship. And another pretty solid year for Josh Rosen. 4,000 passing yards. Another 30 plus year touchdown season with 14 interceptions. So let's see if Josh Rosen can get another win. I've lost track of how many playoff games he's won. I think it's still four and I just simulated the whole thing. Gosh darn it. Raiders ended up getting blown out by the Browns in the wild card round. Josh Rosen still at 84 overall. 31 years old now. Still looking the same as what he did when he was drafted 10 years ago. And once again, the Raiders are going to get a first round by going 11 and 5. Another pretty solid year for Josh Rosen, his um, third straight 4,000 plus yard season. 30 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Also, his third straight 30 plus yard touchdown season. So the Raiders are going to be playing the Jaguars at home in the division round playoffs. They got a first round by again. Hopefully, they don't go one and done. And once again, the Raiders do end up losing in the first round 24 28 to the Jaguars Josh Rosen making a second Pro Bowl in his career now like 30 31 years old something like that a side note it's pretty impressive I mean how many uh, playoff appearances Josh Rosen has had I've honestly lost track um, I'll have to go back through the video and make a final tally at the end of how many um, playoff wins and appearances that he got because He's not doing bad at that department, but other than that, I mean, a couple of Pro Bowls, that's really about it for Josh Rosen so far, and um, I don't I don't remember how long the game lets me go, I think it's 15 years, so uh, he's almost at the end. Once again, the Raiders get a first round bye, they finish 11-5, and five. again, another first round bye for the Oakland Raiders. Numbers down a bit for Josh Rosen here, 3,500 passing yards. 24 touchdowns and 12 interceptions, kind of back to his Dolphin days. <laughs> round again for the Raiders to see if they can actually win, maybe with the first round bye. And they did! The Raiders have finally won the divisional round after a first round bye. 
And the Oakland Raiders have lost. Again, this is the second time losing in the AFC Championship game. They lost to the Titan. Rosen, 33 years old, went down to an 84 overall. I figured the regression was going to start happening pretty soon. Josh Rosen once again has made the playoffs. I think he's only missed the playoffs like once or twice since he's been with the Raiders. Not a great record this year for Josh Rosen. For the Raiders, though. These stats for Josh Rosen, pretty solid. 4,336 touchdowns, most definitely a career high with 10 interceptions. It's wildcard playoffs to see if the Raiders can get another playoff win. We're in the year 2030. The Raiders still haven't even made a Super Bowl yet. <laughs> um... They lost 13 to 32, got blown out in the wild card round. Josh Rosen did win his third Pro Bowl appearance, though. So not too shabby for Josh Rosen. Three Pro Bowls, nothing to be ashamed about. Josh Rosen still an 84 overall. He did regress back to an 83. I just upgraded him though. He went back to an 84. 2031, the Raiders did miss the playoffs. They went eight and eight. 4,000 yard season again for Josh Rosen. 27 touchdowns, seven, inter seven interceptions. So like I said, Josh Rosen is just being really consistent basically every year with solid numbers. It's definitely not bad. And he's kept his, interception, his interceptions numbers quite down. All right, here we go. We're now a free agent. Got some more contract offers. There's four teams bidding on us here. Should we go back to Oakland, keep playing for them, finish out our career? It's only one year contracts or should be played somewhere else um i'm feeling we should play somewhere else maybe um maybe tennessee maybe texas um did i say texas <laughs> maybe houston um we're gonna go ahead and play with the titans for one year and see um josh rosen even decides to play for any longer than that Looking good in that Titans uniform, my man. Josh Rosen, this is his 15th year, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be his last season here. He's going to finish out his career as the Tennessee Titan. He's 35 years old. He's 82 overall. Maybe he can bring the Titans to the promised land and finish out his career with a Super Bowl win. So I'm trying to look for Kyler Murray. I want to check out his stats, but it doesn't even look like he's still in the league. So that's very, very interesting. I don't know if he, he must have retired. Man. There's no other reason why he wouldn't be in the league. So Josh Rosen's career actually lasted longer than Kyler Murray's. So I don't know when he retired or what his stats were. But I didn't see the Cardinals make a single playoff game. So Josh Rosen made like eight. I don't even know. <laughs> so Josh Rosen is likely his final year. He did make another, another playoff appearance. Jeez. <laughs> With the Tennessee Titans. Let's check out his really good numbers here for Josh Rosen. 4,654 passing yards. That's the, definitely the highest that he's thrown his entire career with 30 touchdowns and also a pretty high 16 interceptions. Let's see if Josh Rosen and the Titans can get at least one more playoff win. They do here. They are facing the New York Jets, who, by the way, it seems like every single year they're winning 12, 13 games. And uh, Sam Darnold is just an absolute god. And that is it. Josh Rosen's career is over. He loses in the divisional round to the New York Jets. Let's take a look at his stats one more time. If it's not going to let me, huh? Well, that's really dumb. Josh Rosen, surprised didn't make the Pro Bowl for this season. So we take a look at Josh Rosen here. Zero Super Bowl, zero championships, three yearly awards, which are the Pro Bowls. Uh, just three Pro Bowls for Josh Rosen. He didn't win any like MVP or Offensive Player of the Year. So that's how the career of Josh Rosen goes. Congratulations, Josh. When a team spends a high draft pick, it is counting on you to be more than just a solid pro. Expectations have been too high in your case. Whatever the reason, you never quite lived up to the hype. Even so, you managed to play 15 years at the highest level of your profession. That is something not many can say. Be proud. He's number 511 of all time. So unfortunately, it's not going to let me look at Josh Rosen's final stats. I thought it would after I retire, because that would make sense. But, you know, Madden does some things that doesn't really make sense. But this was still a lot of fun to do. Unfortunately, Josh Rosen, well, I mean, that retirement screen pretty much set a spot on. Didn't live up to the hype. He played solid. He made a lot of playoff appearances. But at the same time for Oakland, he had Josh Jacobs and I assume a really good offense to work around him. Which, honestly, if Josh Rosen in real life, if he's given a good offense, if he's given some weapons, he's given a good offensive line, the dude's a really good thrower, and I think he can be a very good quarterback. I don't think he's going to be like an elite guy, a game changer, but he can be a very solid quarterback for any team. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this. 
If you like this, please leave a like down below. It takes a long time for me to put this video together. It takes like an hour to film it and I gotta edit it, but it's still a lot of fun. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below and hope to see you guys on the next one. Peace.